Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's about bread. Here. You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You was fished. Well, thank you. I swear, half of you were just rotten your own filth if nobody kept you in check. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. No, get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Anything for you, Beyonce? you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Watch him now. Go to hell. Sam's coward. Oh, shit. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. You want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I... Slit your throat and just save us all the bother. Yeah. Now get out of here. Heading down the hill to the water. Ah! Ah! There you are. You boys ready? Better like this. We're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. 
you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. <sighs> you, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Would I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Boy, found my puppies. Watch it. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's we'll just get back there. Collect our son of you. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Um, Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. And he's the one that turned me into a dirt sailor. I found some candy in my pocket. Me too. Well, uh, can't think of anything else to say. Sure. On board the Heartland stage. In all opposition, they defies. People must root hog or die. They with a gun and left. You'll have to push the other hand. Started as a thieving line in 1849. All opposition, they defies. People must root hog or die. Root hog or die. Very good. Mr. Smith. There Can I get you a libation of some kind? Miss Karen? The strong, silent, enough? manly one of us. <sighs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. See? See? 
what I tell you. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith. We had faith. We have a plan. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place. Heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. <laughs> you know, the problem with you, Pearson, is that you're just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. <laughs> Oh, talk, huh? Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hi there! Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. Ah, the angry cowboys who arrived. And you've watched for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. Oh, no. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. We are going to need some money. Money. Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know, great fucking drunk. <laughs> Oh my god, I should not have got up this morning. Is anybody listening to me? Is that? <laughs> Apparently not. You're French, sir. Sort of. Richard. I'm from Quebec. A bank. An investment. <gasps> you okay? Oh my lord. Are you familiar with the work of Charles Chatonnet? Oh, yes. All too well. <laughs> How do you like him? He's, uh... I'd describe him as... complex and... passionate. Exactly! That is how I feel! Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? 
I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her. It's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to daddy? I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have... oh. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Don't say I never show you a good time. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, what the hell? It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch! Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. We're heading down to San Denis. San Denis, take I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in San Denis. I'll go anywhere with you. And the bourgeoisie, there's a heading down to San Denis. Mother most likely told you not to play with fire Ooh, or to spend it. time in the. Yeah. All right. She sure is hot. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything worse. that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Mate! Prepare oh, no. to get that fella stay out of it. Oh, come on. It's amazing. Shall we? But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Place like Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should leave. I've now. had enough of this. You're crazy. I'm going to get help. No, no. This is a dream. <laughs> Oh, 
he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey! Stop! These kids that are worse! Don't... I can hit a lot harder than you. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now! I mean, I, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs>